Welcome back. What are my top 10 baits for 2023? That's what we're going to talk about right now. Please let me say thank you for watching these videos. Honestly, it's it's amazing the amount of people that watch them and are part of the team and family and, you know, just contribute so much in the comments. I really do appreciate it. I seriously really do appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, you should be. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and become part of the team and family. Now, we've looked at a lot of lures in 2023. Almost too many. But this is my top 10. These are the lures that I've caught the most fish on during the year and just the ones that I think are exceptional. Now, it doesn't mean that some of the more recent ones shouldn't make it in here, but I'm doing this in November. So anything that you see in December probably didn't get put on this list. Every year I go through the, my baits or go through the closer looks and revisit them. I go on YouTube and check them out and try to see which ones I remember are the best and then look through my fishing logs and go through fish catches. So there's a couple that I had to t move from a higher level to a little bit lower because you know maybe it didn't get as much fishing time, but overall you're gonna see that there's a really good consistent base of great lures on this list. And I should say, normally I have the lures in my hands. If I look, well, if I look over here, I've got a bunch of lures. I got these lures and I got these lures. And I don't have them in hand. Usually I do, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go back and grab some of the footage from the closer looks and you'll see the close-up photos for them. So at number 10, when I first got this bait, I did wasn't sure I was gonna like it. And then as I slowly used it, I really found it really great only because the action of the bait is phenomenal. So at number 10, I have the Yamamoto Slinko, which was a stick worm. And if you know me, I love those stick worms. Now to keep it real, I'm really surprised that a stick worm makes it on this top 10 because consistently there's only one stick worm I use. I use a DOA Cal five inch worm, whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called. And I use that consistently. I have hundreds of them. I used to go and buy packs of a hundred of them at a time. I don't anymore. I just go find them at a store and just buy them retail because I don't want to ask for a discount. They are phenomenal. But these Slinkos made life really, really great for me this year. Putting a nail weight in them and then fishing them just like I do my normal Slinkos. They really were phenomenal. They caught a lot of fish. So number 10, I put, I made it the Yamamoto Slinko. At number nine is the Beast Coast Slow Flow. I really, really appreciate small swim baits. Really appreciate small swim baits. This was a bait that I used for the whole year when I had tough times to fishing. I put this on because it was consistently getting fish. I could either use it on a weighted hook or I could just put a jig in it. It has fantastic body roll, it has fantastic action, and it's really priced properly. So at number nine is the Beast Coast Slow Flow. At number eight was a surprise for me because when I put on a jerk bait, it's usually the Engage Loader Minnow or a Mega Bass. But when I got that mock baits work bait, I was dumbfounded on how good that bait was how well it suspended, how well it, it shook, and how well it looked in the water. And then when I took it fishing, it just slaughtered fish. It was one of the better baits for me catching fish in the winter time. During the summer, I didn't use it as much because I needed something that was more weedless. But when the winter was here, which isn't very long, that work bait has been phenomenal for me. So at number eight is the Mock Baits work bait. At number seven is one I thought would be in my top two, to be honest. It's the Six Cents Bosa Ribbon Worm. Ribbon Tail Worm, excuse me. If you've never used that bait, it is unbelievable. Milliken used it to catch a bunch of fish here, down here in Florida, and it just has exceptional exceptional action at all times. I use it as a giant speed worm. I use it as a Texas rig and bounce it off the bottom. I use it all the time. It just has great action and catches lots of fish. It catches small fish. It catches big fish. It catches the gamut and it's just phenomenal. So let me make sure at number seven is the six cents ribbon tail bosa worm. My sixth bait for 2023 is the Zoom Unitoad. And I know what you're thinking, what? Well, so what I would do with the uni toad or uni toad is that I would get an EWG hook and I'd make it a weedless bait, a weedless frog, make that giant cast and put it in the thickest crap I could find and just run it over top of it, almost like a frog, but with a frog that just has a, a great tail. And it was getting crushed at the frog pond, got crushed at the, at Topwater Johnny Pond. It got crushed at the Magnolia Plantation Pond. It just did work all year round for me. So at number six is the Zoom Unitoad. At number five is the Nomad Swim Treks Max. 
I got a bunch of these in a Bass Creator contest, a YouTube contest, and the Swimtrex Max was just exceptional. The action is so much better than any lipless bait I've ever used. It just gets bites because of the action. It's phenomenal. It's a little overpriced, but I don't mind paying that extra money for a better bait because I know that that better bait has better action and action catches fish. So at number five is the Nomad Swim Trex Max. At number four is no surprise. Thunderhawk Lures came out with the DRT Frog this year. And for the Frog Pond, that DRT Frog was unbelievable. It skates well. It has all the has everything that you want in a frog, including rattles. Now, I will be honest. I did find that it was really close to the Bobby's Perfect Frog, and that one made one of the lists years ago. This one is just as good as the Bobby's Perfect Frog at a little bit less price, and if you use that code, get your fish on 30, you save three bucks off each one. The DRT is exceptional. It's an exceptional frog. It casts a mile, and it has great body walk, bobbing action on top of the water. So at number four is the Thunderhawk Lures DRT Frog. At number three is the one that I'm not surprised at. It's the Magabass X70 Guildco, I think that's what they call it. Suspending jerkbait. There's no question. Magabass makes some of the best lures out there. And that X70 is up there for me. It's a smaller suspending jerkbait that just is it. It looks good. It has great components. It has great action. It fits every category that I want for a bass lure. And and just sticks them. I mean, it sticks them. It's, the hooks are crazy sharp and it just catches fish all the time, either suspending and twitching or running it really fast. It's an absolute insane bait. However, I didn't have it for very long. That's the only flaw in it. That should be number one, to be honest. But I had to put it at three because I haven't caught as many fish as I have with the first and second bait. So number three is the Mega Bass. X70 Gilco. Number two is the Biospawn Exo Kick. I love this bait. I mean, I love this bait. I love this worm because of the action you get as it falls. You can put a, a little weight on it and Texas rig it, and as it falls, it just flutters all the way down. It just has a insane, amazing kicker tail, and that just gets a lot of bites. It's scented. It has. It's just. It's as good as any bait I've used in a long, long time. I use it as a speed worm a lot of time. Make a long cast and just keep it on top of the water and just watch bass go after it because the tail is constantly moving at all times. So at number two is the X, the Biospawn Exo Kick Worm. And without further ado, my number one bait is the Live Target Ultimate Frog. <sighs> if you would have told me I'd ever put a Live Target lure on this list, I would have told you you were absolutely freaking crazy. I've had bad luck with uh, Live Target lures. I think they look fantastic, but that's what it is. They just look fantastic. The Ultimate Frog exceeds all expectations. The action of the frog and how realistic that frog is, just using it really slow, drives them crazy. It drives them crazy. I see the big fish eat it. I see the small fish eat it. A lot of times the small fish can't get it in the mouth, but they try to. This is, without a doubt, the best bass fishing lure I used in 2023. Without a doubt, I've caught hundreds of fish on this frog. Hundreds. I did lose one because I didn't tie the right knot, but that's... That's life. Besides that, it just is great. Now there are some flaws in it with it does catch a little bit of grass here and there, but just is beautiful in the water. It looks exactly like a real live frog and it just catches fish. So my number one was the ultimate frog from Live Target. So there's my top 10 for 2023. Is that, am I wrong? Am I right? What do you think? You guys have watched the closer looks. Which ones did you like the best? So if you can do me a favor, comment below and tell me which closer look you guys liked. I would really appreciate it. Thank you again. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will see you soon. Cheers.